Hey guys, and welcome back to another campaign video. We are finished with Thoros from the Mountain Royals campaign, which means we have Ismail, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, or Tamar. Uh, we're going to follow the sword difficulty in that order, so Ismail is going to be the next one. It states, In the war-torn highlands of Persia, the orphaned prodigy leading the mysterious Safavid order has returned from exile and galvanized his followers into an unstoppable conquering force. Will this charismatic visionary lay the groundwork for one of the most illustrious empires of the Islamic world, or will his delusions of grandeur be his ultimate undoing? In this campaign, you will play as the Persians. So we're playing as the new Persians, which would be after their rework, where they have like access to Sabar and so forth. You see Ottomans, Uzbeks, and Persia. And the first mission is called the Red Hats. Difficulty hard. We're set to go. So without further ado, let's go. I came here with a quest for vengeance. For years I have sulked in cowardice, but the time is finally upon me. I come to slay Shah Ismail, the bane of my existence. Ismail. These decrepit streets are the last place that I ever expected to find him. But underneath that unkempt beard and blasphemous stench, I know those eyes anywhere. If I were to finish the deed here and now, I could finally enjoy a night of peace. Yet as he sits there stone-faced, my head now races with questions. Why does he not recognize me, the sister of his former confidant? How much longer can he hurt what remains of my pride? I must know. Vengeance is a feeling that Ismail knows as well as I. His father was the Grand Master of the Safavid Order, a group of so-called radicals who for generations had promised salvation to a Persia still reeling from Tamerlane's invasion. Back then, these lands were ruled by a federation of tribes called the Akkoyunlu. Some of us Turkomans constituted their ruling elite. But others, such as myself and my brother, suffered under their reign. And we were eager to liberate ourselves from their watchful eyes. Whoa. That was abrupt ending to the thing. Alright. You can just skip these. They're not really worth listening to. You think I've listened to every single uh, campaign introduction so far. I think I'm just randomly going to skip this one. Ain't no happening. Ismail must survive. So there goes our hopes of winning this campaign. Bring Ismail to Ersinkan. Coming from humble means, Ismail is restricted to a population limit of 125 and may not advance past the castle age. So we're following the typical pattern of slow start. Eventually, as the campaign missions go on, we'll probably unlock Imperial Age and so forth. Ismail's rivals far outnumber his small band of fugitives. Avoid unwanted fights until you can muster more units. Persians are efficient shipbuilders. Produce some fishing ships to speed your early food income. Recruiting battle-hardened Turkomans and raiding the Georgian blacksmiths are the only ways to improve your limited military arsenal. So, recruiting Turkomans and raiding Georgian's blacksmiths. Okay. You cannot initially build castles, but killing Farouk Yazar and taking over his stronghold will allow you to do so and train war elephants. These hardy behemoths can obliterate cities and armies alike. We're gonna make some elephants this mission, or these missions, I'll promise you that much. The longer that you wait to kill Farouk Yazar, the stronger and more prepared he will be. Ismail and his Safavid caretakers are on the run from the Ak Koyunlu. Their destination is Ersinkan, which offers the means to build an economy and recruit the nearby Turkomans. Ismail's primary target is Shirvan, a semi-independent state loyal to the Ak Koyunla. Shirvan sends light cavalry swordsmen, knights and crossbowmen into battle. Shirvan is ruled by Farouk Yazar, the man who slew Ismail's father several years ago. Though the Shirvan Shah now leads uh, a mostly private life, he will not hesitate to utterly crush any who disturb him. The northern mountains are home to the Politis of Georgia, 
While not an immediate threat to the south of it, their riches and advanced weaponry could be of great benefit against Shirvan. The Armenians inhabit the mountains separating Anatolia from Shirvan and does not have many soldiers available. All right, let's do it. We must hurry to Erzinjan before the Akkoyunla hunt us down. I love that I get to play as yellow. Just putting that out there. So this is weird to have a hero that is just visually a scout cavalry. That feels so underwhelming. His stats aren't very impressive either. Compared to a knight, he's barely better. He has a little bit more HP, but uh, more HP, but worse or worse attack and a little bit more armor. Okay, let's carry on. I mean, we're supposed to go here. That looks like enemies down there. I'm just going to right-click there and see where it takes. Okay, we have to go down here. Okay, let's fight. Ismail can still tank here. Because he will regenerate himself. It's fine. We must be careful. We must be careful. Wait, let me do this first. Let's add some music. And I want sl scroll speed to be slower. There we go. Do you guys play, when you play campaigns, do you have music on? Oh, we're a chic. I like that the music lowers itself though when the narrator is talking, so that's good. Alright, we are at the crossroads. Left or right? Houses are burning to the left, so I'm gonna go right. Mistakes were made. Or not. Yeah, this is fine. We're getting closer to the city. This is fine. to be a little bit careful here. Our HP isn't that high. Oh. This is a fight we could have probably avoided if I went up. Actually, maybe not. So far, so good. I think we lost one light cap. That's about it. And we are pretty much at the city, so all good so far. We'll probably get a city here, villagers, economy, all that good stuff. What? God, betrayal! Got them traitors everywhere. It's fine though, it's fine. Oh. We have a permanent base of operations. Set forth and spread my word to as many Torkomans as you can find. We will need quite the contingent to take the fight to the Shirvan Shah. Okay, okay. Uh, we're in Feudal Age, so... We have 10 wills only. It's not a lot. Oh god, there's a lot. Okay, let's let's get an update here. What's up? Visit Turkoman tribes to recruit them. Okay, that's about it. So all of these are Turkoman tribes. I'm not sure if they're all going to give me a task to do, but uh, let's find out. It says recruit nine tribes. Can we please go raid the Georgians like I suggested earlier? Their supplies would sure make this whole ordeal a lot easier. So they want us to raid Grey. Grey has a decent army though. Let's first recruit some Ottomans. Turkomans. Your words ring true. Wait, is that easy? It's that easy. I just run there and they all join my cause. I don't have to do anything. Oh. Okay, Farouk. We're gonna come for you, don't worry. Wait, where is he going? Is Farouk actually coming to... Or out on the map so I can kill him? Or he's just patrolling around here. 
This beast coming out on the map. Return him to camp and bandage his wounds. Farouk Yasar has left Chamahi and awaits us in his hilltop fortress. <gasps> oh, he doesn't have to survive anymore. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Let's go. All right. He will probably respawn. This is fine. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're fine. Relax, guys. I'm going to show you guys who were it. I knew that. Did they just all shift like they were targeting the knights? Did they all shift the focus to Ismail again or what? That was weird. I did nothing wrong. Uh, let's buy our way to Castle Edge. Speed this up a little bit. Um, can I collect pipes without Ismail? In which case, I could just spread out one knight to each spot, kind of. We'll find out. But there might be enemies on the road. Is the Turkoman chief a hero? No, he doesn't regen HP. Okay, there are enemy units everywhere. Okay. We are pledged to your cause. Okay. So Farouk will attack in 28 minutes. Think that they are the messiah these days. Go slay the great bear that lurks atop. Okay, here we got a task. The great bear that lurks on top of this mountain. Would it be up here or would it be further up? Uh, yeah, there's there's enemy units everywhere, so I have to be a bit careful. I think I should go go to one spot at a time. Because, um, yeah, it doesn't seem like that easy. Okay, the bear should be up here. I see skeletons. I just want to see how strong it is. Uh, Mama Bear, Mother Bear, 500 HP. Does it go back or does it continue chasing? Uh, okay, it's just continuing to chase. Uh, will it attack red as well? Um, well, this is easy. Now it's going back. Okay, <laughs> fine by me. Okay, let's add town centers. We're Persians, so the booming is quite quick. Well, that was not that difficult. Many apologies for doubting your strength. You better be. Uh, hello? Why are you attacking me? I do have parts and tactics here. Yeah, let's just continue recruiting. We might get some tasks along the way. The TC will be able to defend here, so that's fine. Two long swords, I know. <gasps> He's stealing my sheep! Oh, I failed. That's why the pathing was weird. Oh my god. Disaster. This is fine, this is fine. So Ismail doesn't come back, does he? <laughs> oh well. We had a good run. Uh, we have um, 125 populations. I still think we're due adding some more economy. I assume here I'm gonna get them for free, because I fought my way down here. Your words ring true, young Indeed. We are pledged to your cause. Also, why can't I not do Bodkin Arrow? Oh yeah, because I have to do the take the seed workshops in up from the Georgians. True. Also, I'm wondering if I should like attack Farouk Yazar earlier. He went up to the castle. Or if I'm supposed to wait for him to attack me. Not sure what's the right order. Oh, true. I did get recommendations to um, make some fish to speed up the early game food economy. That I forgot. 
Oh, Ismail is back! Ismail has recovered and is ready to fight. Let's go! Blood and will be useful. I know not who you are, but clearly you know nothing of whom you are meddling with. Who did say that? I guess it was just for me coming here. Okay. We are pledged to your cause. I would like to get part in. Wait. I can't get part in taxi either. Oh well. Let's see if I can get uh, ballistics at least. Okay, we're working our way there. Slow and steady. Wins the race. We are pledged to your cause. I wish they were healing by themselves. As heroes would. We're already on 95 population. Wow, the guard tower. That's fine. I just hope he doesn't have murder holes and I can sit under. I can't do you know, ballistics either. Get everyone under. No, I'm still taking damage. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, I got ballistics? Okay. Come here. Lots, actually, I don't, who cares about that tower? I mean, I'm probably making too much uh, economy here. But then again, I got a lot of free units, so it kind of makes sense. I kind of really just want to get to the point where I can make elephants. Uh, let's see how we get there and here. Then we have all the tribes recruited. Then we'll go to the Georgians. And we should be able to do all of this before... Before uh, Faruk attacks. Hopefully. Uh, huh? They're not fighting. That was interesting. They didn't trigger and they didn't start fighting until I got the cutscene. Interesting, okay, okay, I appreciate that. Yeah, but this army is like, I can do a lot with this army already. Bloodlines I should have done a long time ago though. Uh, I'm just gonna clean the army, pick up the reinforcements and not bother with the tower. I think that's the best way to do this. My army will pledge true. My plea, words. Alright, now the... The Ottomans are done with me. Let's go there for gold. Don't see a lot of extra stone. Guess we can do some more fishing ships, because why not? Could bring some more monks to heal, but let's go and get take care of the uh, Georgian markets and blacksmiths. Uh, I'm not really sure, there's, there's not really resources elsewhere, right? I don't see stone. This is not mineable stone. Oh, something must be walled here. I, wanna, I need to bring bills with these, just in case I need to build a seed workshop. Oh, there's more gold. We can go there. Wait, is this just completely like... There's nothing here? Alright, there's the Armenians. 
Alcatraz is back, baby. We got a good run. All right, here are the Georgians. I uh, think I might want... Actually, it's just palisade walls and a watchtower. I'll bring bills along either way. But... This should be fairly quickly cleaned up. Wow, that's so fast, actually. Lancer stacking is a thing of beauty. I'm clicking this, the light cap to attack this guy and they keep running to the right. Interesting. Okay, that's the first mark in a blacksmith. Show me what you got, Mr. Georgians. Farrakh will attack in 12 minutes. So I'm thinking, do I, maybe I, I want him to attack so I can kill him and get the ability to build elephants. Why wouldn't I? I love to stack L Lancers. I don't think there's more. What? I'm under attack. We are under attack. Oh. Ooh. That's a really nice tower. We got ring archer armor. That building looks really nice. I haven't seen that before. That must be new with these. DLCs. Okay. Artisan will clean this up, so that's all good. Can you do the Alabric campaign? Uh, I have done every single campaign in the game. It's all on my YouTube channel. Except Ismail and the last one from the Mountain Royals. Whoa! Uh, I thought we got like a thousand, two thousand gold, but it's just 500. I'm just banking a lot of gold. So yeah, if, if you if there's a campaign missing, I've played all of them. They are on my YouTube channel. <gasps> You're bringing rams! Okay, I guess it's time to make some units here. Yeah, I'm more concerned with the blacksmith upgrades. They're more valuable to me. Yeah, the Georgians really were no threat. And what's nice is we have Persian town centers. They have a lot of extra HP. So they don't really die very easily. Yeah, that's all good. These men say that they will join us. Who? Plate parting armor. What men is he talking about? Oh! My fishing ships accidentally found some knights that's cute I guess uh, I would run down there with Ismail they would have joined me blast furnace all right we're working with Imperial Age upgrades there holy cow yeah we actually have Imperial Age upgrades that's sick like Ismail suddenly has respectable stats um, I think we destroyed all of them, yeah. Destroy Chevron's town center. Alright, that's teal. That will be in the corner. That's probably the last thing we do. So let's go and see what uh, Faruk is all about. It's seven minutes until he's supposed to attack us. But maybe it makes sense that we attack him. I'll see. We'll try to attack him and see what happens. What am I missing resource-wise? Nothing, really. If anything, I should just prepare more production buildings. Probably need a seed workshop here though, although I don't I only see palace gates. Let's see what's happening here. This is the Persians campaign. Not Armenians. Let's do a seed workshop here just in case. Some oh, to school. I think I triggered their attack. Oh, 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 I don't want to fight there because they will have the hill. You killed my father. 
prepare to die. Exactly. I'll go here so I get the hill and we'll fight from here. Oh, this is actually a beautiful place to fight. Patrol the lancers and stand ground. I have hill advantage. Oh my god, this is such a nice engagement already. Holy smokes. I don't even want to do anything. Okay, here I kind of have to fight. We control this fortress. So do I have... Ca oh, I can make castles now. Can I build a castle here as well? <gasps> yes! Time for elephants! And we got resources there too. Okay, that's cool. Uh, okay. The only unit I'll ever make from here, this point forward, is naturally elephants. And do I want to deal with the Armenians? What did it say about Armenians again? Okay, so they're just like in between and annoying. I see, I see. We need elephants though. Yeah, this is where we want to start p -p 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 pushing. Are you playing easy mode? No, I'm just that good. We're playing on the hard difficulty. I still wish there was a harder difficulty than this. Like there used to be on the HD edition where it was like a hardest. Cause that was that was kind of challenging at times. I need more ramp. No, no, I need more elephants. Sorry, my bad. I mean elephants, of course. I shouldn't have built a castle here. It's too far away from other things. I think we kind of want to lose some public. How do I? I want, we want to lose some population so I can make more. Is that ram going to attack my ram? <laughs> Fair. Fair enough. Screw that. Go for the ram. Go for the tower. For those who haven't seen the new elephant in action against buildings, they're they're insane. Is this new? I swear I've played this before. Uh, this is from the Ismail campaign. First mission. Yeah, there's only two elephants, right? See how fast they take down buildings. There's gonna be more where that came from. These elephants are just going there. How about you guys just enjoy yourselves in here? Where are you, where are you guys even going? I have the gather point here. Why are they going this way? <laughs> I don't understand. Isn't there a historic battle similar to this? Maybe. I don't know. All right, next. Ismail is even surviving. I mean, we have. Do we have Imperial Age upgrades? I guess it's just because they're just regular war elephants. If they were elite, they would have had even more. So you can use elephants these days. Well, in the past they were more like a power unit against other military units. Now you can also use the elephants as a siege siege unit. See how fast the gate goes down. Okay, the Armenians here was nothing. They had barely had anything. They're just a nuisance. Nuisance. We're gonna go straight for the town center. Finish the jab. There's an achievement about killing Faruk before he gets into the fortress. Like, so you just run straight there and try to snipe him before he runs to the castle? That makes sense, actually. Yeah, this will be the town center we need to kill. Destroy Shervan's town center. And this shall grant us victory, I believe. Elephants are still the most awesome unit in the game, no matter how you, what you wanted to say about it. Take it all. I always wondered why AI starts deleting their buildings when they're about to resign. You have made the impossible possible today. 
Let us rest for the night, for we have many adventures to share together. But this is not the elite version, no. This is the castle -ish version. They have 450 HP, and with Bloodlines they have 470, I believe. It breaks my heart to think that I once swore loyalty to this haggard. Yet there was a time that Ismail was the epitome of a valiant leader. I still remember the first time that we met him. My tribe was among the lucky few in Anatolia that he personally invited to ride with him to Erzinjan. For weeks, my brother would not stop talking about this captivating, fearless youth. Once we arrived in Erzinjan, he told us that Allah had commanded him to free us from the tribal life of generational bickering that we were all too used to. Such claims were not uncommon, but his intense conviction, firm as the blade of his Shamshir, made us certain that he spoke the truth. He dubbed his soldiers the Kizilbash, the red hats for the twelve pleated garments that they were to adorn themselves with in battle. Embarrassed as I am to admit it, I still keep my brothers as a reminder of our youth and of all the possibilities that it once promised. Strong-willed though Ismail was, he was also uncommonly generous. No sooner had his troops sacked Shirvan than he distributed the plunder among them. They were the only true family that he ever had, and he knew how to make everyone feel important to the cause. Looking back, I should have known all along how paranoid this boy truly was. Interesting. So the only the thing I took care of is pronounced Ir Irsin Chan. Ir Irsin Chan. <laughs> are these based on true stories? Uh, well, how true they are ex precisely is always the question, right? But uh, they are based on historical characters, or characters from real history, yes. Every campaign in Age of Empires 2 is. You have Jean d'Arc, you have William Wallace, Robin Hood. Uh, there's, yeah, every, every hero in Age of Empires have allegedly existed. Ooh, I stopped at a perfect villager mount. Alright, that was uh, mission one of Ismail. Hope you enjoyed the red hats. Coming up next will be a road to royalty. I thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, thumbs up, comment on the YouTube video, all that good stuff. And I'll see you for the next one. Take care.